good morning again uh, this is dr. Pam here um, nurse practitioner NP DNP doctor in nurse practice uh, today we are going to talk about headaches two to three minutes about a headache if you get this you're good to go about headaches there's always one or two questions about headaches okay let's start with the um, um, cluster headache the cluster headache usually is unilateral, affects maybe one eye. It is teary. When they talk in the exam, they say teary. The, 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 the eye is teary, runny nose. It happens the same time. Usually it's a middle-aged white male. So if you have a scenario like that, what is the treatment? We usually give them the calcium channel blockers or oxygen. Oxygen, oxygen with the cluster headache, okay? The other second headache is giant cell headache. The giant cell headache has, to, giant cell has two names. So you have to know some of these uh, diagnosis, some of these diagnoses have two names. You have to know the two names because they can ask you one or the other. So you have to know. Giant cell or temporal arthritis. That is the one that the, a person has like the, the artery is popping out. Um, patient complains of visual impairment. Temporal pain. Pulsating. Pulsating. Pulse. A pulsating. Cord-like. One thing you have to know, there is increased ESR. So if that is what is explained in the exam, they are talking about giant cell or temporal arthritis. What do we treat them? With steroids for six months. How do we diagnose them? We do a biopsy of the artery. That is giant cell. What about the third one is migraine headache. The migraine headache, a patient, like I usually see in the clinic, a patient comes in, photophobia is one big thing. They would be having the headache. They would close the lights in the room while they are waiting for the doctor. They are closing the lights. They have nausea, sometimes vomiting. They have aura or aura, aura that sometimes they smell sometimes they know they feel like it is coming they have that feeling and um for abortive to abort the headache we give them triptans the triptans we give them imatrox example like imatrox okay prophylaxis we give them beta blockers such as propenerol propranerol okay so that is the migraine headache okay what about occipital headache occipital headache the occipital headache is associated with hypertension so this patient wakes up in the morning and they are having this headache in the morning check their blood pressure Tell the patient to do the, the, the check their own blood pressure when they wake up in the morning. And if that is the case, as a practitioner, you are going to make sure that the um, blood pressure is controlled. So that is for the occipital headache. What about tension headache? Tension headache. Um, a tension headache usually it's around here around the forehead and it feels like band like nothing is band like other than tension headache and we treat them with tripton trip triptans what about if a patient or in the exam somebody says in the exam or a patient the worst headache of my life the worst headache of my life thunderclap headache a headache that have never felt before send those people out because it could be hemorrhaging 
the worst headache that could be subarachnoid headache, hemorrhaging, send them out. They need immediate help. Another headache is the trigeminal pain. Trigeminal pain or temporal uh, trigeminal pain or trigeminoneuralgia. The other name for trigeminoneuralgia is tic durex. Tic durex. So you have to know those two names because they can ask you one or the other. You need to know that that um is an uh that headache. We treat them with tri tegretol. So trigeminoneuralgia treatment is tegretol. The T T T trigeminoneuralgia treatment is tegretol. Okay. Uh, another headache is sinus headache around the sinuses. You know, the so sinuses, sinus headache. Uh, patient complains congestion and whatever. What do you do? You give them decongestants. Give them decongestants to take away the, the congestion. See, sometimes these patients have allergies. Make sure you know what kind of allergy they have so that they can avoid that. Sometimes we might give them Flonase to, you know, to help open up. So that is what we do for the sinus headache. And then the last is, I put it there, Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy is usually unilateral face twitching. The face moves one side. Um, the patient feels numb that side. What is so important is that when they get the Bell's palsy, it affects cranial nerve 7. And what is important, guys, is that you have to protect the eye. Because when it affects, the eye might not close well at night. So you have to protect the eye. You have to um, give them um, something to put in the eye, like some uh, eye drops or, or, or you know, the, the um, ointment. And they can close the eye at night so that you protect the eye. That's so important. That's education. But also, these patients are treated with steroids for a long time until they feel better okay and that is it about headaches guys if you like what i'm saying what i'm doing if it has helped you you do your exam and you find that this helps you you can share with your friends i have co a course that uh, you can take i have more information i have powerpoints that can help you so you are welcome thank you god bless you